Welcome back. The Drakensberg Extravaganza promotes the Josiah T. Gumete tourism route to foster an appreciation of history and political understanding. While well, the main points of this event are the Josiah T. Gumete Memorial Lecture, the Legacy Marathon and Fun Run, the Drakensberg Experience and an array of water sports and a golf day tournament. Well, we'll now uh, be crossing back over to Simpiwe, who I believe will be standing by with uh, some guests that he'll be chatting to this morning. Simpiwe, hello. Well, a uh, very good morning to you again, Pearl. It is a cloud of euphoria here at the uh, sports ground, wherein we are actually now at the finishing point of the Josiah Kumeta 21-kilometer marathon. It is absolutely beautiful out here, Pearl. But then let me just quickly chat to the Director of Social and Economic Services of the Okatlamba local municipality, Mr. Tulan Mazibogo. A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Uh, morning and uh, morning to the viewers at home. Talk to us about this run. I see so much excitement here and people finishing. I know the thrill of uh, finishing a race and I'm mean, starting a race and then finishing it. Talk to us about what's happening right now. Um, actually, this is an, an inaugural marathon, a 23 kilometer run uh, uh, that uh, goes together with the eight kilometer fun run. And so the intention here is to promote uh, our heritage of which, uh, uh, of which uh, uh, the honorable of which the Honorable um, uh, uh, Josiah Kumete uh, is from this area and he, he, still ha st he still has the residence in this area and so it's all about promoting him as he was the fourth president of the ANC. And we are saying also with that heritage we want to begin to, to inculcate the culture of, of, sport, of, sports, of sports within the, within the municipality and we're also building a sports complex where all sports can be played and also where people can we, we're building a mecca where people can come and do even provincial uh, sporting activities in our space. And so this is part of the bigger picture of saying we want to become a sporting uh, a, a municipality so that our communities can also live a healthy life. How does sport in general just develop uh, communities, particularly in this province? Uh, definitely, definitely the... Definitely the, 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 the sports is very critical and important. Um, we, we, we do have people who, have, uh, who, who are coming from this area, uh, who have played for Orlando Parades, a big team, and they've also went overseas to play for the Chinese. And so we are proud of them. And we are saying we want to build onto, those, onto that to make sure that we are able to produce as many people as we can. Our young people can be saved from drugs and, 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 and all the, the, the other things that, that can destroy their future. We're talking about uh, community tourism here, in particular the Drakensberg, I mean, Drakensberg uh, uh, heritage site, the, the, the World Heritage Site. What have been the obstacles in trying to, you know, integrate tourism into the local community? What challenges have you encountered so far? Um, the Drakensberg has been challenged in one way or the other uh, in terms of marketing. Um, the space is, is not yet known uh, to an extent because this is a gold mine that still needs to be dug uh, in terms of tourism and but we are doing everything that we can working with the tourism sector uh, the tourism association in the area to promote tourism uh, last week um, we had our mayor uh, going to the UK um, uh, in London and, 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 and also we had the representative also going uh, to the Netherlands as part of promoting the tourism in all these international shows because we want to want to build a demand so that de when, when you have enough people who are, who are staying in all these hotels that we have, then we will be able to then assist our up-and-coming um, establishment to also benefit out of the tourism that we are promoting. And so that is our biggest aim and part of that too, that is why we have this, um, the, this, uh, this extravaganza uh, in this area because we want to build and market the space and bring people into the space. And so you create something, you, cr you create a stimulus that is going to make sure that it brings people into the area. And why then are we seeing, just to interrupt you, I do beg your pardon, why then are we seeing a very sluggish growth insofar as uh, tourism is concerned at Drunkensburg mountain range. I mean, this is a World Heritage site, but then growth is so slow. 
Yes, definitely we, we agree. Hence, we are putting, uh, we are making sure that we put uh, instruments that are going to stimulate this demand. Um, in, the previous, in the previous years, we had a serious problem with the R74 uh, that joins us, uh, that joins uh, KZN and, and, uh, and the Free State. And so you, people could not uh, drive through uh, the, 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 the truck and spec, actually the Peckville and Winter Teen, so that they are able to, to, to go to the other side. And so that has been a crippling uh, uh, matter, but it has been resolved. Hence, we are seeing more people and more influx of people coming into the space because we are saying we are in the centre between Johannesburg and and and, and Gauteng, and so. But also we are saying people as as we are moving towards holidays, we are saying people must detour into the track and spec so that they can be able to enjoy the track and spec experience. And Mr. Ma all right, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, appreciate your time, Mr. Mazuwo. Thank, thank you so much. Now, Pell, I wouldn't be doing justice uh, if I didn't give an opportunity to one of our loyal viewers here on on Morning Live, which is one of been the, the runners. Uh, just briefly, what can you say about? Uh, uh, this morning's race oh this morning race was so nice and fantastic yes how are you feeling i'm feeling very nice very nice more than enough i can I'm tell so strong and everything can you imagine in my age <laughs> all right i can tell thank you so much for thank chatting you. to us all right that's it pearl uh from the bergville yeah in the in the drunkensburg in the Drunkensburg mountain range, it's a bit chilly here and it's beginning to rain. It's been an absolutely beautiful morning, nevertheless. It's been a great pleasure. Now it's back to you in Johannesburg. Goodbye. Well, thanks to Simpiwe, who is out there at the Drunkensburg this morning.